Is this a split call? It is a split call, Mr Speaker. Right. At five minutes, Honourable uh, Trevor Miller. Uh, Mr Speaker, the, the Labor Party is um, supporting the Reserve Bank of New Zealand Covered Bonds Amendment Bill, uh, albeit with some reservations. Uh, Mr Speaker, I think, I think if you go right to the core of why we're supporting it, is that they exist anyway. Um, the, the banks have issued them, um, and the Reserve Bank appears to have unfettered power uh, to uh, have uh, more than the current 10 per cent, more than the 10 per cent that's in the legislation to, to, to approve the banks doing this. And what happens when that occurs is the situation gets even worse than what's in this bill, because while my uh, colleague um, um, was... Yeah, was talking about small business, what he was not talking about was also the mums and dads who had That's their right. deposits with the banks. That's right. And, Mr Speaker, it's pretty awful what this bill does, because what it says is that if you're a big overseas corporate lender to the banks, or even a parent company, with one of the tax dodge arrangements uh, lending, uh, lending to New Zealand banks, uh, then you get priority uh, over the mum and dad who have their, or their grandmothers and grandfathers who have a few dollars uh, in the bank uh, when, if, if the bank runs into trouble. Now, the, sort of like the counter-argument is that if you have some stable finance and a, an ability to draw down some uh, what is effectively a preferential uh, debt, uh, then that might help with the bank's stability. And that, that, that could well be right. And so, Mr Speaker, you then get to the question of how far do you go? You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not asking you how far you go, Mr Speaker. I'm, I'm saying that the House is faced with a question about how far does one go. And, and, and other jurisdictions have made decisions. And the Canadians have decided 4%. What they've decided is to get um, a 4% a, a uh, drawdown in this area is sufficient, that they can give cover, and that way they are giving better protection to um, the, uh, the mum and dad investors. The, the, he said he'd go all the way to Sky City. Well, the, well, he certainly put the chips on the table with Thank Sky City. I, I think actually politically he might have gambled and lost. Um, I, I think that, uh, I, I think there's not much, there's, uh, one of the questions of course is whether um, Sky City will apply for a banking as well as a gaming licence, and if so, will they have covered bonds? And will those, will, will, will TVNZ put any of their money there? Yep. Uh, the, I, I told, I, I'm told that TVNZ, the Prime Minister, has promised the TVNZ land for $100 worth of poker chips. Is that correct, members opposite? Is that, is that true? Is it part of the deal? You know, millions of dollars a year, millions of dollars a year of promotion money for Sky City, promised by John Key. Million, millions of dollars promised uh, and, and TVNZ, a TVNZ arrangement, which I understand, I, I, won't, ref, I won't anticipate a matter uh, before the House, but I think some of us are looking forward to some, with some excitement to two o'clock next Tuesday when the Prime Minister comes in here to do his withdrawal and apology. Uh, for the misleading of the House, because, of course, it must be the, the first item uh, of business next week will be the Prime Minister climbing off. This is a second reading of a bill. That, that's right. The broadest possible... No, the broadest, thank not you for the reminder, <coughs> <coughs> Mr Speaker. This is the broadest possible debate, and the question of whether the Prime Minister or TVNZ or Sky City get banking licences and are involved in covered bonds, I think, is well within, well within the gambit uh, of, 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 of this debate. Uh, but, Mr Speaker, as one can probably tell, this is legislation that we support because it's better than not having it, but we regret very much the decision of the government to favour 
overseas big money as opposed to mum and dad and grandparents and small business deposits, uh, Mr. Speaker. Stephen Browning. Um, the Green Party uh, is going to.